Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some Ark on the new Ragnarok server for the vanilla release. So today, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start building our base actually out. Um, we're gonna need to build some fences, some stuff, some crafting stations, some beds, the whole deal. You know how it goes. If you guys do enjoy the video, if you learned something, do me here and hit that thumbs up button. Of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell if you haven't done so already. I also have a Streamlabs tip jar in the description below. You can check me out on Twitch on Twitch.tv. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start gathering up a bunch of materials. A bunch of tools, start, start building some stuff. I think we'll just start building straight out of stone because why not? Uh, and replace it with metal eventually. Uh, maybe we'll tame up some stuff in the area. I'm not really sure everything we're gonna do, but what I am gonna do is go and head and start moving everything inside our new little base and uh, get some stuff, foundations and whatnot built, and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, so we've got the foundations laid. We have got two forges, two mortar and pestles, an upgrade station, some storage boxes, and a bed. Uh, I tried to take down the server to get collision working, but it's still not. And so we do have all these gaps, so we're gonna have to reorganize everything once that is turned on. But now that we've got crafted up a bunch of metal, we should be able to craft some good stuff up. Let's go ahead and grab some metal. Let's grab all of this. At least as much as we can carry. Uh, still no? There we go. And, uh, let's see what we can craft. So first things first, we need to make, go ahead and make a smithy. Super important, S plus smithy, so we can go ahead and pick it up later. Go, I said. Uh, we need a S plus crafting station. We need, what else do we need? Blueprint station add-on. We need a campfire. I'm gonna just go down the list here and see what else we need. Uh, we can't make, what is this? Add-on, add-on, okay, okay, okay. Blueprint station add-on, yes, yes, yes. Ah, meat spoiler, very important for spoiling of all the meats. We need, am I missing anything? It's been so long. This stuff, we need crystal electronics. Blah, 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 blah. Compost bin, we need charcoal. I'm gonna say this, yes, this is all we need right now, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and use, grab those things. So this, just attach this right there, beautiful. Uh, the meat spoiler, we will just put uh, over here, because it doesn't really matter where. We're going to move everything in a bit anyways. Put that right next to the campfire, which will go right there. And then the smithy, we will stick right here. Perfect spot for smithy, if I do say so myself. Now we can go ahead and craft up. Let's take all this stuff and transfer it in. We're going to need more metal for what I want to do. Um, let's see, I, we, oh, we can make chit and armor, but we're just going to wait for flak. What's really the point? Let's go ahead and make a crossbow. I gotta go. Thank you. A pick, a hatchet, a stickle, and a pike. And we will make a long neck rifle, even though we're not gonna use it just yet. Perfect, now we can take all. And how much more metal do we have? Because I do wanna upgrade some of this stuff not a whole lot. We can go gather more metal pretty quick, though. So let's throw all this stuff in the upgrade station. The first thing I want to upgrade is the pick. Attempt upgrade. Come on, give me some good numbers. That's not so good so far. Oh, even better, please. Oh, one more. 414. Not the best, but it's fine. And the crossbow is the next thing. Come on, we, we want real high numbers. Five, above 400. Oh yeah, that's not that's not a bad one. 490, not the best, but I've seen definitely seen worse. And then, do we still have enough for the? Do we not make a hatchet? Okay, we need a hatchet. Attempt upgrade. We, we're just about out of stuff. Hey, wow. And I think that's it for now, right? Yeah, we need four more metal. We should have four by now. Look, oh, there's seven. Luckily, these things are so cheap in their requirements that it doesn't take a whole lot to upgrade them really high. Um, I definitely, I love this mod. Oh, dude, that definitely that double did it. Look at that, 638? Holy crap, what a freaking hatchet. All right, let's go ahead and take all this stuff back. Let's go ahead and put away the stuff we no longer need. We don't need this anymore. This, I literally just want to gather materials. That's all I want to do. Stone, what am I doing? All, craft all. I want, to, I want to gather up materials. I want to make a gate so we have a dino pen. I can't really put a door on right now because of the collision problem. So I'm hoping uh, we can just kind of put a gate and whatnot and that'll be fine for now. We're gonna go get more metal and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out and uh, 
start gathering. I'll bring you guys back in a bit. All right, guys, we've done a bit of gathering. Oh, we got the jamming music from the meat spoiler rolling, um, which we can actually turn off now because we got meat spoiled. Actually, can I throw it? Dang it, I can't throw it back in there. Uh, we got meat cooking over here. We got meat spoiling over there. Did we use up all our narcotics? Oh, there's actually still more narcotics? Well, heck yeah. Let's make some more of those. Beautiful. Get those rolling so we can level up faster. And plus, we're just going to need tons of those, I'm sure, because that's kind of how the thing goes. Um, I've got gathered tons and tons of stuff. Tons of metal and tons of everything. It's crafting, or it's smelting so slowly, though, which is the problem. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take everything. Let's grab the metal. Uh, let's grab some of this, some of this, this, this. And I want to go ahead and uh, throw everything in here and continue to upgrade things. And also, we're high enough level now. We should be able to make the flak armor. And we'll see if we can upgrade that as well. So let's go ahead and grab it all. So first, I want to go ahead and make the flak stuff. Let's go flak. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. And then as far as making stuff is concerned, I do think that's it. We retire this hide stuff. Now let's see how much we can upgrade. Because we don't have the most metal in the world. So I don't think we'll get everything maximum upgraded. Ugh, you can do it! But I do think... Let's see. This one's Ascendant. That one's Ascendant. This one's Ascendant. So those are done. So this... Let's upgrade this first. Even though we'll probably never use it. Oh! There we go. Okay. Okay. The gun would be the next one. You know, let's do the armor first. Feet. Let's do everything one first. Then we'll kind of keep going. Ooh, that one got a double. Let's get everything at least to blue. See how much armor we can get. Because obviously the more we have, the better we're going to roll. I mean, at a certain point, the armor doesn't do that much for you. I failed to upgrade this item. Fantastic. Because the dino it's going to one-hit you. It's probably going to one-hit you anyway. But this, more than anything, is about the durability for me. Oh yeah, look at that. Here we go. Ooh, that jumped right up to Ascendant. Ooh, heck yeah. We're almost out. It's actually taking way less than I thought to upgrade this stuff. Upgrade. Ascendant. I'm failing to upgrade an awful lot. Okay. And then let's go ahead and upgrade the gun. Even though we don't have any... Oh, see, now we're out of ingots. All right, so let's grab this. Perfect. And let's equip this armor. Oh, how much armor total? 4,028, which I'm going to go ahead and say is not too, not too shabby. It's not too shabby at all. I want to make some gates. Well, here's something else I discovered, and I'll show you guys right now. Uh, I'll just run it a little faster, I think. Uh, uh, uh. Let's do one of these. So if I come down here, over here where the beavers are, first of all, there's some uh, beaver dams here I'm going to have to take advantage of at some point. I did cut a couple on the journey here as well. Uh, and then, oh, if I don't overshoot it, and I go right in here, into this waterfall, there's a second cave. And this one's got a nice big entrance. You see that? So I should be able to use this maybe as a dino pen, and I think that's kind of what I'm gonna do. This will be the dino pen area right below. It'll be much easier to access once I have flyers and whatnot. I may even build a ramp going down, um, or not, maybe I'll just keep it hidden, but either way, I'm gonna have to make some behemoth gates. It's gonna be kind of hard to build in here without, co with collisions still being off, or no collisions still being off. So we're gonna kind of have to wait to do a lot of building until then, but I do wanna make some gates to begin with right now because I can't really shut my doors and I don't like my dinos being as exposed as they are right now, even though it was just the two. And also we need to go ahead and get like a Terra or something to fly around on, make a saddle. Um, that would be nice. So I think I'm going to make a gate that just goes straight across right here. And let's see how it goes. Uh, insufficient stamina to jump. Fantastic. Ah, uh, see, but I don't know because... Do I need to make it all the way down here? What level are you, bud? Level 130! Ah! Uh. Okay, I should have boloed you. That would have been the smarter thing to do. Nope! Oh! Ah! Oh, it worked! Okay, level 130 Terra. Holy crap, so I guess me adjusting the levels did actually work. Uh, some meat, please. You're, this guy's probably not in the safest spot in the whole wide world. Oh, he's not too bad, just right there. Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic. 
All right, so let's go ahead and let this guy tame up, I guess. Holy crap. Get away from my guy. You're cool, right? We chill? We chill. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and knock out this rafter. That's what I'm going to do. What level are you? You're mine. Go to sleep. Oh, ah. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, go to sleep is what I said. Uh, we don't really need a raptor, but... Eh, we'll have him on the base. Neutral, you know, whatever. Just don't want him eating my guy. Alright, we'll let these guys tame up. I'll go build some stuff, and then I'll bring y'all back. Alright, guys, so we did a server restart and finally got the collision thing to work. So, that means that now we can start placing foundations all the way around and reorganize the base a little bit. And, oh, it's so nice to be able to just have a completely flat ground. So I'm going to go ahead and put foundations around the entire base here, as well as then I'm going to go down to the waterfall below and do the same thing, uh, which is going to take quite a bit of gathering. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of gathering. Oh, this is so nice. It looks so clean now. Look at that. Isn't that just like a million times better? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done, get the stuff placed. And I'm going to make some behemoth gates so I can go ahead and start closing things off. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. And then I will bring y'all back. Ooh, raptor attack! <laughs> I almost killed him in one shot. Die, sucker! I'm just out here trying to get some metal and stuff. What level are you? Come on. Alright, guys, so my Rex just got killed by another Rex. But what I noticed was he got killed by one that was level 145. So obviously we are going to try to tame that sucker. First, I'm going to get my stuff back. Is this my Rex? Give me all the stuff. All right. Let's do this. Where'd he go? We're taking him down. We need a good Rex anyways. Okay. Ooh, we're a little overburdened. Okay. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Get him. Yes. I don't think it'll even think it'll take that many arrows, honestly. If we... Come on, we need to get his attention. Come on over here, bud. Why is he flying away? We just shot him twice. Come on! Oh, here he comes. Don't be attacking other things. I don't want you to get damaged once you go down. We can't use our bow on the Terra, right? No. All right, you finish off that stupid Stego. We're gonna fly over here. My concern is him jumping off a cliff. Come on. Finish off the Stego. Get out of here. Yeah, eat that. Well, where's my Terra? I mean, it can't take that many arrows with it upgraded like it is. Passive! Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> come at me, bro! Come on. Nust, keep aggroed, keep aggroed. No, don't attack a bear. I should have brought my super spyglass. I just made one, too. Finish off the bear. Oh. Ooh. Run, 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 run. Up and up. I want to get him over here on this cliff. I can shoot down at him and he can't hit me. Yeah, here we go. Ooh! A little close to the edge. <laughs> Ooh, you got real close there. Don't run away, stupid. We only have 20 arrows left. How did that miss? Dang it, now we're gonna have to do the whole chase him down bit. Come on, go to sleep. I 
don't have any prime meat or anything. What is attacking me? Pego Mastix. Oh, did he go down? Okay, he went down. You can go away, please. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some meat on this guy. And we're gonna have ourselves a much more awesome Rex and we're almost a high enough level to actually be able to put a saddle on it, finally. All right, in about six food or so. Five food, this guy should be popping up. We'll have ourselves a brand new Rex. We did use mutton that Kevin actually gave us. Um, so he's gonna be full, pretty much a perfect tame, 99.8%. So that'll be awesome. It's actually really good if we do decide to breed Rex. This is a really good first start that we just kind of happened upon. And the colors look pretty cool with like the deep red and black. I'm definitely stoked to have an awesome Rex. Um, I'll take note of its stats and then kind of see what's going on. Are you gonna eat that last meat or what? Do it! What? I thought it was 50 meat. Was 50 food to a piece of meat. Is it 80? Ah! Ooh, there it is. It was 60. Hey, hey, hey! Let's see what his stats come out to level 217. 6,600 health, 1,700 stamina, 720 oxygen, 15,000 food, 720 weight. 308 melee damage, 100% movement speed. Now let's go ahead and transfer just all these things back on him. Because that was for my other Rex. And he's on follow, right? And we'll get him back to base. And I'll finish up doing the little building I was doing and show you guys what we got done. Alright guys, so we have reorganized the base. We started putting crafting stations over here on this side. And we're going to continue just along the side this way. Storage right there. Got some four beds over here. And we've got a little campfire. We're going to have a little, The kitchen area is going to be on this side, I think. Uh, along with any other extra crafting stations that we couldn't fit. Uh, we may build up here and out here to put, like the generator and a little box up here. I'm not really sure yet exactly what I want to do. Um, also, if you go and look down at the bottoms. Oh, so we have a little foyer here. Where we can put some turrets and some little small dinos to protect. Get out of the way, get out of the way. And then if you fly on down here, you can see nothing. So our entire base is completely invisible right now. Um, but if you do fly under... Ooh, the beaver dams are spawning. Awesome. More cementing paste. If I fly in here, you do see there's a behemoth gate. And there are beavers stuck in here. Because <laughs> I grab beaver dams and lure them in here. Um, and so this will be like our main dino pen for most of our dinos. We should be able to fit everything in here except for like the real big ones like Gigas or Brontos or that kind of thing. Um, but any small stuff, we should be able to fit in here no problem. This will be kind of like our kibble farm area. So we don't have a kibble mod on this server, so... I think I'm gonna make uh, maybe a couple extra levels in here once it starts to get too full. Um, but that'll be fantastic. I need like a 150 beaver, so we do need a beaver. But there's so many in this area, there's no point in taming anything that's not 140 or higher. Um, so, go ahead and fly this guy back up here. I'll start moving those guys down. Um, that Rex is all done, and so I will need to make a saddle. But they changed things, so I can't even make a saddle to level 74. Luckily, I think I just hit 70. No, I'm about to hit 73. Can you just land? So sit down. Um, and then one more level, and we'll be able to make ourselves a Rex saddle. But for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring that notification bell to get notifications of all the videos if you haven't done so already. You can also have on all your social medias, and there's also a link to a Streamlabs tip jar in the description below. But anyways, guys, for today, that is going to be it. I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. Until next time, I will see you later.